for thousands of years, all the way back to the original people that stood where we're standing now. They used every word to describe how much they loved each other. Now we are here. It is our time. Falling for you wasn't falling at all. It was walking into a house and suddenly knowing I was home. <laughs> Already? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome friends and family as we gather in this magnificent place to celebrate the joining of Amy and CJ in marriage. <laughs> that is not what we're doing. Wow. Look at you. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. yeah. I know how indecisive I am. I never know what I want to eat or watch or wear or do. But the moment I looked at you in a different way, it only took me one second to know that I wanted to spend the rest of my life. You are everything I have ever wanted and will ever need as long as I live. And now we are here about to start our forever. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength while loving someone deeply gives you courage. When I was a kid, before I would go to bed, I would say a prayer, and I would get down on my knees, and I would pray to God that he would make the perfect girl from scratch for me. I gave him some details, so when I know what to look for when I finally found her, she would be just as beautiful inside as out, with a laugh that would just make me fall in love, and that I would never want to stop hearing it. She would have long, dark hair, that it was wavy, with blue eyes like ocean that you would just sink into, or that she would just make me laugh every day, and then we would always have a blast together. There was no aha moment. It was just obvious that you were my other half and that I was made for you. You're the love of my life and my best friend. I love how sweet and thoughtful you are. I love that we laugh with each other so much and that we spend every second of every day together and never get sick of each other. I love that you think I'm funny and that Autumn adores you. I love your heart and how nerdy you are. You're the best person I've ever known. God made me wait 30 years. And when we first met, I had no idea you were the one. I quickly figured out that after I heard your laugh in the break room one day, that I knew I had to meet this girl, to know her and to have this girl in my life so I could hear that laugh every day. I did all I could do to meet you, to talk to you. And finally, I got my chance to do it at a party. And we hit it off. Even though I was trying to convince you to dump some loser at the time, because I know I had feelings for you. I vow to love every part of who you are, no matter where life takes us. I vow to always let you drive <laughs> and to steal your blankets forever. I vow to always be your safe place to land. I vow to fall in love with you a thousand different times with every version of yourself you become. I knew that you were it, my perfect match that I had made you from scratch perfectly for me. Every moment since then, you have been so much more than I could have ever imagined. You have vent my gasp of air from drowning for so long, my light in the darkness, my glimmer of hope that one day I might have you after all. I vow to love you even when it goes. You are my safe place and my home. Thank you for coming into me in Autumn's lives and giving us everything I never thought we would find. I'm so happy that the three of us are family now, and I can't wait to go on so many more adventures with you and create a beautiful life together, laughing till we're holding right. I vow that on this day and every day after this, that I will show you that he made me from scratch perfectly for you and Autumn. And that I will make you smile and laugh each and every day. As part of this special day, we will now solidify this family with a hand fasting ceremony. May your family grow in love, kindness, and joy. And be bound by your commitment to show respect, compassion, and unwavering support for every member of this family. You are now bound to each other for all of time. I vow that I will spend the rest of my life being the loving husband and father that you both deserve. And I'd choose you in a hundred lifetimes, in a hundred worlds, in any version of reality. I'd find you and I'd choose you. I will always choose you. I now pronounce you husband and wife.
it is with great joy that I present Amy and CJ Johnson. Oh